Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria for meeting for the first time. Welcome and for those of you guys that are old friends and family to the YouTube channel, welcome back. So today we have a pick a card reading. This afternoon we are going to be focusing on what you need to know right now what the universe your angels and your guides needs to tell you right now it's interesting that this is the vibe that we're going with today because i do get this really strong sense of urgency so i'm really feeling that there's going to be a message for you here today don't force it allow yourself to be naturally drawn to the reading the card that stands out to you the most let's go ahead and start off with the first card the first pile the first message which is the obsidian I'm also going to read each of the meanings of these cards to you in your reading the smithsonite it's beautiful green and then we have pyrite all right let's go ahead and dive into your reading So you're not going to believe this, but maybe you will. I had all of your cards pulled out for the first message, the message of the obsidian for those that chose this pile. I start channeling for you. I've downloaded some messages and then I look up and see that my camera wasn't even recording. So then I started the second time and then looked up and saw that my recording stopped and I was just like, listen. If you could only hear the messages that I was saying before those two things happened, you would be like, yo, that in itself is a message. So let me just say that everything happens for a reason. That's number one. That's something that you need to know. Number two, the overarching energy that kept coming through was the universe asking you to quote unquote, go slow. Now I couldn't tell if this was something that you are doing, something that you are setting intention for is to move slower and more intentional in your life, or if this is the universe creating a lot of things that are pulling you to go slower than you would have wanted to go, but it really feels like it's for your highest and greatest good. After I said the word go slow, it was so clear in my consciousness how I felt it. The next card to jump out, was actually the king of pentacles now to me this is really significant because the king of pentacles isn't known for moving fast at all in fact he this masculine energy is one of the more slower and deliberate cards in the entire tarot he is naturally connected to earth energy so capricorn taurus virgo and i'm sure you can see this by now it's interesting that the tortoise is here it's interesting that this is the cards that we're even working with this afternoon. So there's something here that the universe is trying to tell you and wants you to know that to go slow here now in this stage and cycle in your life is to go further and is adding to your longevity, especially with the Ace of Pentacles here showing up. This is not something that should be rushed at any at any point. It's something that over time it grows it grows this card anytime when we see the ace aces of any sort we do typically tarot readers we think of timing same thing with the knights it's interesting too that you have the knight of swords who is known to be a card of speed and quick movement and very hasty but do you notice he's reversed so this energy is telling you that the 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 way to move forward now is to go slow to not rush and make hasty choices and decisions. Try not to jump to conclusions, especially with the moon card here reversed. I don't feel like this is a negative thing. Sometimes with the moon card, this can be a little tricky because this reveals to us that there are certain secrets or things that just aren't known to our, to our eye. We may intuitively sense that something is lingering or something that is happening, but it hasn't revealed to us the fact, the truth of what that thing actually is. And the next card to jump up after the moon card is the card that the moon card being reversed is actually the five of swords. 
The Five of Swords rem reminds us that if we're too hasty or if we're too caught in our way of wanting things to be and how we want things to pan out, not only does it end up hurting other people, but we end up hurting ourselves. So what does the universe want you to know right now? They're asking you to try to slow down in your day to day. This is going to help to nourish or to grow from an empty space or a space of lack or to provide for you even more financial abundance or security. For some of you guys, there's a commitment that it is that you want to make. You are the right person for the job or you find someone that is the right, the right person. It's the right energy. You've been waiting for this and now finally it's here. Whenever we find something that's worth keeping, something that's worth fighting for, of course we want to jump in and we want to make it happen. We want to secure it. We want to make sure that everything is moving forward. And in the way that we, that, you know, solidifies it for us, but at least for right now, the universe is saying that what is for you will not be taken away from you. And if anything, you may find, especially if there's other people that you are working with in the mix here there's other people that may actually need to catch up to where you are currently right now it's not that they're not ready it's not that they don't want this they do it's just that they there's some things that need to be taken care of and closed out first before they leap forward same thing with you even if this doesn't represent another person it will represent energy something here needs to develop now it's interesting to me that the five of pentacles is the center of this reading Five of Pentacles oftentimes represents lack, something that we wish that we could have or something that we need, a need that needs to be met. I actually see the Five of Pentacles in this reading for you as a very, very positive sign, believe it or not. Now, for those of you guys that don't know how I read tarot, I am not traditional with tarot, not even a little bit. I am very, very intuitive. I've also been very gifted since I was a baby, since I was a kid. So I don't read tarot from traditional terms of, oh, Five of Pentacles is the card of lack and emptiness and ache and needing. I actually see this as something intuitively that is be is growing. Pentacles cards, and for those of you guys that have been members of the Sacred Circle Tarot School, uh, pentacles represents material and earth. It's what we can grow. Just because it's not fully ten of pentacles doesn't mean that there isn't something. Uh, th that there isn't something worthwhile here, or that there hasn't been something that has already been accomplished. Just even as I'm saying that, we have the six of wands here, which is the card of actual accomplishment. Five of Pentacles is the halfway point within that with, within that growth. And sometimes it's in our best interest to look for outside sources with the Ace of Pentacles in order to lend a helping hand. One thing I believe that the universe is trying to tell you right now and wants you to at least look out for is now would be a great time for you to consider maybe asking for help or asking for additional information or additional clarity. I feel like you are beyond ready for something to happen within your life, but I feel like a few more facts need to fall together. This is giving me the energy that I actually feel like something is a growing in your life. Really, really growing. And I feel this so strong with the Five of Pentacles. Now, I know there's some people here that are like, Jess, Five of Pentacles is not the card of growth. And I, I agree with you, traditionally it's not, but intuitively, don't forget, I see that something is growing. This is the halfway point to what has already grown. Even though you may not have everything here and for this, for the, in this situation, this might be commitment, it might be more information, it might be something that you haven't even seen yet that's been growing here that's implant, implanting or um, rooting itself right now. You may not see the clear evidence of it, but it's coming. And as soon as you start to see the effort, like as soon as you start to see this little branch kind of picking up and, and poking through the dirt, metaphorically speaking, I have a feeling that you're going to change direction. I have a feeling that this blessing, this gift that's about to po like poke its head out through this, because look at this, Ace of Pentacles, sometimes, a lot of times is connected to winter, but I feel this right now as 
uh, summertime, believe it or not, because I feel like this is when things really start growing or we're starting to see the bounty of it. We're starting to see the effort of our, of our growth, of our work. And the five of pentacles is the card for, for right now. And this, and this symbol, it represents dormancy. It all also represents resiliency. For me personally, I'll speak for myself. If I got to the five of pentacles energy, I, just because I'm in a position of lack or just because I can't see the blessing or see how something's going to pan out, I still have something to protect or I need to be protected or there's still something here that's worth saving. There's still something here that's worth growing. So as soon as the spring changes and as soon as the season changes and you can sense it, there'll be like less of a chill in the air, metaphorically speaking, the energy starts to change. I think that when you see this, it will actually, I don't want to say be bigger than what it is that you're expecting, but I think it'll be different than what it is that you're expecting. And you being as ready as you are and ready to move forward and ready to make plans and to grow and to venture out and to do this big plan, like, or for some of you guys, it could be like relationships or life. This is something that you've been really wanting to, to set into motion. You want to see it grow. And it has a lot to do not with luck, but perfect timing. Everything would have to be in alignment here for this to occur. And I feel like this is happening. Now, when this begins to thaw out and when this energy starts to open up and you see what's about to enter into your life, I believe that there's gonna be a game plan shift. You're going to, the, the way, sorry about Nova barking. Nova, come here. Hello, come here. Can you sit down? Can you sit down? Nova, sit down. Good girl. The way, think about if you, think about how much hard work you've put into something and then you you just know that that's the game plan. It's a sure, a sure thing. And then all of a sudden there's this messenger, there's this information or something that, presents itself that, whoa, you would never even have thought that this would be something that would be offered to you, that this is something that is growing, that this is something that is happening. And for that, there's a change of plans and it feels better than what it was that you're expecting. So that's what this energy is kind of giving. And I don't know why, but throughout the entirety of this reading, I kept getting visions of Game of Thrones. I don't know why. I don't know if that's something that you've been watching. I just keep seeing visions of Game of Thrones or like winter is coming maybe. Huh. I don't know. Um, it's interesting. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. It's I've literally all this week has been like Mercury retrograde for me. I don't know what, what is going on um, with the five of pentacles here, though. This does kind of connect a little bit to winter energy. So it, I, I don't feel like it's coming from that. It's, it's generally visions that is that I'm getting. Something is, something is coming. Um, and it doesn't feel negative. It feels like a blessing in disguise, something that you, like, look at this. We have the Ace of Pentacles here and we also have the King of Pentacles. There was a seed that was planted or something that is growing here. And I think as soon as you start to see what is about to pop its head into your life, you may actually have a change of plans. For some of you guys, you have been waiting and you're just like, it's winter time, this isn't gonna happen. And all of a sudden there's just like little bit of hope. So that's something that you weren't expecting, but you just intuitively knew to look for it. Okay, let's look at some of your Oracle cards. This would be really, really interesting to see what comes up. And I'm gonna read Obsidian to you last. So the first card we have, wow. Angels, angels, trumpet, suspicion, and turmoil. Angels, trumpet, suspicion, and turmoil. So there's something here that you can sense is looming in the mix down the pipeline, coming down the pipeline. Or you may have, you might have some anxiety with this. Nine of swords, the moon card reversed, the five of swords upright, five of pentacles, three of pentacles, knight of swords to me this is confirming that you feel like you might be alone like you might this is someone who feels like oh i gotta do this alone or this isn't gonna happen or abandon hope you have this suspicion and it's literally creating turmoil 
just because it's your suspicion though doesn't mean that doesn't make it actually true think i don't know why i want to go back to the metaphor of game of thrones i haven't watched it in a in a while but isn't there betrayal like when you think that you can trust like a family member or a friend that's the very person that is that you can't trust um not that i'm saying that that's your situation but it's almost like flip that and turn it into a positive it's like you think that you can't trust that this is about to happen but it is and it it feels that's the energy feels like to me it's very protective well not protective but it feels very positive and also protective yeah the next card you have here is challenges unbearable situations throw you directly into god's arms if you are open please take over divine and guide the right actions please take this burden and show me your will this is one thing that is that i love is that i feel like you might have been in a season right now that has spiritually challenged you or challenged your faith in something that you have been hoping for and i think that all of this has actually is is really about this like divine reroute of something better for you let's say let's say this is about relationships or marriage let's say you wanted to do like if everything went your way you would be building a business with your partner now it's not and then all of a sudden you and your partner stop start fighting and you just cannot see eye to eye it's not that doing business with your partner and building business with your partner wouldn't have been a good thing. It's just that now along your journey, it's important for you to build a business for yourself and that that not include your partner because this is a season about you. So do you see how it's kind of like with the challenge, somehow it brought into a positive thing, something that is for your highest and greatest good. You might not know now, but you will. Yeah, this is what, it, this is literally, this actually is literally what it was I was saying. This is what it feels like. You may be suspicious towards the universe or towards something just being like, what is your intention? Where is this going? What is happening? And, or you might not even, you might not even have a, a know which, which way to, direction to even look in. Like, I don't know why I get this real cloudiness, like this, covering of you not really knowing what to look at or what to expect or like what is happening here and I think this is also one of the reasons why the universe was asking you so clearly to slow down you'll know soon enough and that doesn't feel like a threat I promise it feels like achievement I okay sorry guys I just feel so distracted too with five of wands and the six of wands showing up this is the card of fighting a battle so maybe I'm, I was really trying to fight this within myself, actually, as I was doing this reading. I do feel like this is positive, but for some of you guys, you might actually be fighting a battle during winter time or a, a dark night of the soul type of energy, or you're fighting through a time where it just feels like there's so many challenges and obstacles against you. But I do get a sense, and you guys know I'm not a naturally positive person. I'm more a realist myself. I do get a sense that you're going to come out on top. I really do get a strong sense of that. If, especially if you go slow, if you go slow, it's like something happening to help you, not at the last minute, but a, a game, a change of a, a change of plans. Wow, we have the Death card, we have the World card, we have the Empress. So right here, the World card and Death, we have a period of transition. And then the Empress is she's ready to give birth. So right now I feel like this is a rebirth of ser of sorts, a, re a rebirth, something coming to completion. I think this is something too that you're gonna see. You know what it's kind of reminding me? You, you, um, think about like people when they're pregnant and they 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 don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. They wait till the baby's born and then from there, they might um, decorate differently or choose a name depending on what they see or what they feel when they meet the child. This is what it's giving. It feels like the end of the pregnancy and you don't know exactly, you know, you're hoping for this healthy child. You don't know if it's a boy or a girl. There's something about the, the what is about to grow or what's about to be born or what is about to enter into your life that 
you there's this need to kind of like be open and to not rush and to allow it even with when we think about it with like empress energy here and the world card in death we don't rush to the end we we try not to because everything needs to take its time to to grow fully to grow fully and when it does reveal itself then you begin then you start then you know what to work out like what to do we have wow guys the miracles are endless cow spirit but i just said this a rebirth a rebirth is assured bat spirit and then frog spirit clear out the clutter this is giving me <laughs> do you remember ace ventura pet detective i don't know why there's so much card there's so much energy here about like mystery like trying to solve the guano remember or was it guano guano i think when he was like tasting the the bat turds to see who stole the bat oh my goodness so random but there's something here that's you're figuring something you're about to figure something out what does the universe want you to know you're about to figure you're about to figure something out and it's going to not shock you in a bad way but i almost want to say make you believe again or make you have faith or make you have a new like lisa on life like a new excitement and enthusiasm toward life it feels very very good it feels very promising all right my loves so i hope this reading made sense to you i hope it resonated i do have a few small appointments available for readings uh private one-on-one -on -one readings in my apothecary shop the apothecary by the way is currently closed while i'm writing revamping, taking some time for myself and for my family. And I do have Bahati Love Notes, which is a $15 or $5 membership um, a month into um, readings that you get very often throughout the month to help provide a little extra insight and clarity into your life. Until then, thank you guys so much for being here with me now, allowing me to read for you. And now I'm going to move on to the second pile, which is the Smithsonite. Okay, my loves, if you chose the Smithsonite crystal, this is your reading. What does the universe want and need you to know right now? Hmm. One more. I'm gonna look at two more. One more. All right. Now the cards that I am using i will link them down below these two cards were reversed so i'm just gonna honor that okay hmm Give me a minute just to sit with these energies first before I... I'm definitely seeing... Um... Ooh, you know what I just heard? I heard the word steak and potatoes. <laughs> steak and potatoes. The way that the universe, or the way that this guide is coming through, they're kind of talking about how something complements the other. You can't have one without the other. Now, for those of you guys that are vegetarian or vegan, or if you don't eat meat, or if you don't like cow meat, I, I totally get it. This isn't, this is just a metaphor. This is what they're saying. They feel like there's something here that complements the other, that they, they go well, they go well hand in hand. So this is between you and something or someone else. They might be very, very different. If you think about it, steak is a meat and potato is a legume. Is that correct? No, it's not. It's a potato <laughs> or a root vegetable. 
<laughs> a potato is a potato. Okay. Um, okay, this is giving, this is giving relationship energy. If you're worried about someone, you know what? Even as I'm sitting here, guys, I'm getting this message that this is a blank slate. A blank slate with this connection or with this relationship, it can go in any direction. I know that that's very different, I guess to say, but I just feel like you can bring this in any direction. Like it doesn't have to be one. I feel like the universe wants you to know that if this isn't a relationship, if it is a relationship or if it's a situation, you you can co-create with the universe what you want. There's not anything that's set in stone that is the only way. Some of you guys, wow. What you need to know right now is that you might be a little bit too hard on yourself in trying to quote unquote, quote unquote do the right thing when in reality, there is no right or wrong. It's just what you decide to do. Some of you guys are trying to find guidance and find purpose and find enlightenment when it's okay for, for you to just kind of figure it out as you go along. And I feel like for many, for many of you that are listening to me say this, you might even not be offended, but just be expecting something to be like it for for if this is a relationship you might be looking for confirmation that this is the right person for you or if you're trying to manifest a relationship you're trying to quote unquote find the right partner and it's not that there's a right or wrong it's just what you choose i'm also hearing how does the energy feel how do you feel because there's different okay there's different things that you can feel in your everyday depending on what it is that you choose that it's, you're not fated to any one course. You're not fated to any one outcome. This feels very much like the universe wants you to know that this is your life right now is very much an open book. You can write whatever you want. Especially with the Nine of Swords, you might feel like you're forced to figure this out or to make it's like a lot of pressure. Like you, I just get this strong sense that you might be putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Hopefully this isn't anyone putting pressure on you to like have your life figured out or sorted. The universe wants you to know that there's no right or wrong here. I feel like a broken record, but there is no right or wrong. Talk to me a little bit about the judgment card here. What's coming here? They say, okay, they're saying that this is what they want you to, to really understand is that they're, they said no action from you is is also a choice. And what's making you stop making a like make a decision and making a choice and moving forward is you not knowing if this is the right choice, but ultimately all roads lead to the same outcome. So just try to take off some of the pressure off of yourself in order to figure it out, do the right thing. I don't know if I'm saying that. I'm also hearing like um, procrastination. You might be procrastinating or hiding away. The universe wants you to know that it's time for you to make a decision. And when it comes to making the decision, the, this decision, go with how go with how you feel. And nothing they're saying that nothing is permanent. You can change things at any point. You can reroute at any point. Even with the devil card here, you're not committed. The, the chains from this devil energy, which rep, the devil represents um, contractual agreements that we can't break, break free from. You're, you're really, okay. I don't know what you might be facing right now, um, but this is a very specific message. But there's, there, you might be putting too much weight in a, in a choice and a decision when the, when the universe is asking you to just go with what feels right. Even saying no is an, is an answer. Like if, or if you, if you're kind of like trying to go back and forth, then the answer might be a no for you. Like, it's okay that that's a no. It's okay for you to sit this one out. 
Five of Wands is the card of attacking, you know, and getting involved and pursuing and chasing and competing. And I just see you maybe choosing a different path here. Some of you guys might even be, do you see how the high priestess is sitting and she's reading her books? She seems really comfortable, doesn't she? Like, and just so in her truth, like in her element. And I feel like this is a part of you understanding that some of the choices that you feel like you're being called to make, that's why there's this push pull. It's not, it's like what you feel is expected of you when you might just want to sit, sit this one out and be quiet or take a year off or if you're stuck between partners uh because this is a very specific message for someone here if you're stuck between partners let's say you're married and you've got like a, something on the side very specific message this is about don't oh my god this is so controversial i'm with you number one i'm with you this is no judgment zone always always this is about doing what you feel like doing what lifts you up doing what brings you enlightenment not what is oh you know what will the community say if i do this follow your heart like if you made a commitment right oh my god this sounds like someone's gonna just drag me for this but if you made a commitment to something or someone sometimes staying committed to that original commitment after so much growth and after you know just this one life that it is that you have to live sometimes that is not the right thing even though society would tell you that you have to stay stay there there's something here about choosing to not do what others would expect of you and that somehow that is the right thing even though the rest of the world might tell you otherwise now, if this isn't a relationship, this could be the opinions and voices of outside people telling you, oh, you have to go to college and you're someone who says, well, you know what? I'm going to take some time off in order to find myself first. This, If this is not as serious as life choices, this could be just how what you need to know right now is that it's very good for you to follow your feeling and to follow your vibe. If that means that you stay at home and you're with your cat and you're with your books and you're with your animals or you lay low for a little bit and if you're not pursuing the same things that is that you once were, you're kind of hanging up your hat with that. Even if it's temporary, do that. That's good. I have to see your cards now. I just have to. Okay. They, these are a little conf Conflicted. Oh, you were the one who just got the one. Yeah, wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. So this could be directly towards you or it could be someone else's re reality when you make the choice and decision in your best interest where you're just like, you know, I'm sorry to disappoint you or I'm sorry to let you down. But like sometimes, like not to sound mean, but like sometimes life does suck. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing like they'll, they'll be fine. <laughs> They'll figure it out. Okay. Next few cards, we have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Interesting with Queen of Swords, this is the feeling of I've got to do. It's not that I don't care. It's not that I don't, I'm not. It's, it's almost like doing, it's almost like choosing what is the right thing for you even though you may feel like it might hurt your heart a little bit, but you know it's the right thing for you and committing to that, really committing to that. Make, I don't know, I just get this strong sense of like you needing to make a choice. Also, Spirit is kind of asking me to revisit the original statement that I said about like steak and potatoes, the differences between you and something else, but somehow it works out. Or maybe you just are literally eating steak and potatoes, like just a very grounding, dense food because that's what you want. And it's just, that's what your body needs right now. That's what you're spiritually. King of Pentacles is actually the card of like a meat and potatoes type of person. Either way, listen to your your energy here and make a decisive choice and don't worry about it being right or wrong there is no right or wrong here 
The next card you have is you will be surprised. I want to read the back of this for you. Ask with love and their answer may surprise you. Yet whatever their answer, be happy and this may surprise them. So it's so interesting because I feel like some of you guys might be expecting that someone will not agree with your choice or not agree with where you want to go or what you want to do. And I think that you'll be surprised. Um, for others, I think this is you being surprised on what happens when you make a decision or how good you'll feel. The anxiety that you've been feeling not making a choice or decision has been probably harder than actually making the choice or decision itself. Let's look at your cards here. Wow. Balance and stability, lemon balm and self-acceptance. Wow. With self-acceptance, it says nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. Yeah, so there's a lot of cards here about, I don't know if you noticed this, but stability and balance. You know what the universe wants for you right now? They, they want, wow, the universe wants you to know that we want you to be okay. Wow. If there's something that the universe wants you to know, it's that you will be okay. That they want you to know that, that you will be okay. This is because there might have been some procrastination, some doubt, some insecurity, some overworking of yourself. Trying to do the right thing sometimes has worn you down that you can't even if you did quote unquote do the right thing, you can't enjoy it because you're so stressed out about what, you know, is this the, like, it's like second guessing yourself. And the universe really wants you to know that there is no right or wrong. They just want you to show up and to be open to learning and to be open to adjusting and to be open to watching yourself evolve and to not be abrasive in yourself towards yourself or to anyone else while you're figuring this out. And sometimes, sometimes you're going to be called to kind of walk down the path that you haven't done before. And that might be a little weird for you or rule breaking. You might need to put yourself first. Sometimes it, doing what's right for you may disappoint other people or social norms or society, societal norms, but either way, that's the way. Let me read to you the Smithsonite crystal, 51. Some of you guys might've been hemming and hawing. Like you might feel like you've had like an opportunity and that you're letting people down by doing what you need to do right now. You might need, it's, there's something about like really taking care of yourself. Okay. Rebirth from chaos, evolution, stress relief, wow, emotional boost, and clearing of obstacles to growth. It says, from here to there can be a rocky road, one that may even seem to move under your feet as you engage in a process of healing with roiling emotions. The journey can be confusing and unsettling and cause you to want to beat a hasty retreat, but Smithsonite's spirit message is as clear as can be. You are haltingly moving forward into creating something new. This is pretty much kind of what I was struggling to say. <laughs> if you feel as if you're unsteady and even going a little backwards at times, it is only because you're being asked to look to the past and the lessons learned so that your next steps can be sure and steady. The ground is firm beneath you. The wind is at your back and the universe is beside you. So there is no need to look for what may seem to be safer ground. The landscape around you is changing. You are changing and soon you will feel much more settled if you heed the call of the Smithsonite spirit and trust that you'll be just fine. So breathe. It's all going to resolve soon and the obstacles you find daunting will disappear. That is a hundred percent. That could not have been more perfect. So what does the universe want you to know? That the universe wants you to be okay. And if that's, if that's what the universe wants for you, then you can trust that you will be okay. 
So thank you guys so much for allowing me to shuffle and pull cards for you. I hope that this met you with perfect divine timing. Please give this video a thumbs up because it shows the, in the YouTube algorithm that I'm minimum worth listening to or taking a risk on as far as readings. I do send you guys all of my love. For those of you guys that are passing through, thank you so much. I do invite you to subscribe, but also no pressure. And for everyone else, thank you so much for coming back. I'll see you guys in my next video. And now I'm moving on to pile number My three. loves, if you chose the pyrite crystal, this is your message. What does the universe want and need you to know right now? The cards that I'm working with, they are down in the description box for you. Wow. This is really beautiful. Um, something, what does the universe want you to know? you're about to be pleasantly surprised there's about to be something that really like you oh my gosh i just got this message of like you you won you won you did it you did it it happened it happened like there's something that as i'm looking at this um we have the onk here the onk is the connection between masculine and feminine and what it creates and then we have the two of cups here and this is masculine and feminine choosing itself and or choosing each other. Something is being created here. You win, you win, you win. This is after a period of things seamlessly not working, 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 working out. For some of you guys, this might actually be re reconciliation. Or a rekindling of, of love, reconnection. This could be a relationship, but honestly, my loves, I see this as you feeling one within yourself. Wow. It's like something, like a light wake it wakes you up within you. Like something, something that you just were you were just struggling to come to terms with, or something that. Or maybe, wow, this is a lot. You might have been, wow, I, I'm really overwhelmed with this with this uh, pile, but in a good way. Some of you guys might have lived your entire life not really knowing who you are. Some of you guys might have lived your entire life doing jobs that don't serve you. Some of you guys have might have lived your entire life and you're missing something. Like you're missing something and somehow you find it <laughs> like somehow you find it or it finds you or somehow you find purpose or destiny or like it just everything changes like you might even find like a shift in your identity it might be the next season in your life is you really coming into a whole version of you especially with the sun card here and the nine of pentacles this is just someone I just feel who's just so self-nourished after doing a lot, doing a lot of heavy work. I believe that the Ten of Swords, and for those of you guys that don't know how I read tarot, like I don't read, I told this to the last few piles, I don't read tarot traditionally. I read tarot intuitively. I also teach that in my Sacred Circle Tarot School is how to move beyond the general the general descriptions of things and to go deeper with the tarot so that you can be like a more advanced tarot reader. Um, Ten of Swords showing up, of course, if we look, if we read this card traditional, we would look at this and we would say, 
oh, there's something here, like you should be at rock bottom, but it's not, it lingers, it's time. No, I see this as you almost expecting, not expecting the worst, but just expecting to do what you have, like rolling your sleeves up, right? It's like, wow, this is such a specific me metaphor. I'm seeing someone who's like, con like used to working with a toilet, like a, a specific toilet, and this thing clogs for nothing, like just regular, normal toilet paper. You tried everything and this toilet just refuses to flush and flow like the plumbing and some and then you you kind of live with it, but you're working it out like you're doing what you can. And then you maybe the few days after you've got this thing replaced or something happened, a breakthrough, you flush the toilet and you're rolling your sleeves up because you know, like you're not to expect the worst, but you know that this could be, uh, you know, you might have to plunge it and you're just like pleasantly surprised. And I don't know how <laughs> this is so specific, but it's like a pl someone who was a plumber who then finds more interest in interior design and interior decorating through plumbing. And all of a sudden this whole world opens up. And you're just like, you you fall into your flow. Like you are, you are the one, like you win. Like you are the one, like not only did you figure, not only did this contribute to you understanding the mechanics of how things flow, but now you are adding your natural gifts of like design. So there's something about you fi finding and falling into who you are. Like for, maybe even for the first time being like, wow, like I this is who I am. Like I identify as this, like this is, it's like, uh, like I have, I don't know how to describe this. Like the energy of this pile is way different than the others. It's making me like stunned. Like I, I almost want to like stand up slowly and just clap. That's the energy that this gives. It's just like, wow, wow. And then from this place, I feel like there's this unfolding, like this, like some people, some people might be a little jealous, actually, like watching you kind of unfold like this whole, who does she, who does she think she is? You know what it's, it's also giving like someone who was a principal and then they take a, not a step back, but they decide I'm going to revisit my passion of going to, into being a preschool teacher, or you, you have to fall where you're needed and somehow you rolling up your sleeves or you showing up or just showing up in this position or showing up in this role. This might be something that literally you just didn't see coming. You weren't expecting it. And then you just roll your sleeves up. Like you don't, you don't even like complain. You just are like, this needs to get done. And this is what I'm doing. And somehow it fall, everything falls into place. And you're just like, wow, I don't know why I was a principal all this time when I genuinely love being a kindergarten school teacher and like you're thriving and like your life. I just see this budding and blooming and like, whoa, like unfolding. For many of you guys, this is going to be a new role that you're going to take in your life. It's going to open up really interesting chapters in your life. This is something that it's almost like you're almost there, but not quite. And then something happens like an event or a circumstance in, in your life that, that shows you, can you help us over here? You do that and then all of a sudden you hit the jackpot. It feels like hitting the lottery and it could be actually, I don't, I don't know if I said that, but I actually got like lottery vibes here. I don't know if this is necessarily someone winning the lottery or it feels like a big, a big win. So the card that is pulled for you is actually pyrite and I'm gonna read that to you towards the very end. But for right now, let's look at this. Yep, see, wild cherry, passion, and fire. Something here is truly igniting you into your supreme purpose. You, you just hit the jackpot right now and you get so excited. That's what the universe wants you to know is you're about to hit the jackpot. Let's look at the Oracle card. Look at this, yeehaw, yeehaw. This means buckle up, let's go. Okay, when it comes to choosing, sorry guys, I've been having like a Mercury retrograde week. I don't know if you can relate to that, but I, everything that could go wrong literally this week was just so weird. When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us, the universe. 
Emphasis on the word special orders. There's something here about just something so unique. I don't know what this is. Like just something that makes you unique. It, 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 let's say if you were doing okay before, you're about to do great. Let's say if you were like, let's say if you're in a relationship and you're just like separate from that person, somehow you come into even deeper connection within yourself through a separation or maybe vice versa. Maybe you're, you're your best self when you're in a relationship. Let's say this is um, a new role that you're going to be taking on. That It brings out the best version of you and all, somehow opens up opportunity and somehow you just, you, you, fought, you find your flow, like it's better than what it was. And if some of you guys are like, how could it get any better? I know, I know, I know, I know. Some people just have, they sometimes, some people hit the lottery. Wow, two of cups, two of cups twice. Two of cups twice, beautiful. Knight of pentacles has been showing up for like everyone. I think every pile got the Knight of Pentacles, and it's a card of going slow. Oh my gosh. Double cards here. Two of Cups, Nine of, Pen Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles twice. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Two of Cups. I, I couldn't make this up. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, this has to do with identity, self-worth, passion, fire. Yep, Ace of Cups and the Chariot card. Sometimes a chariot card does connect to travel, but let's go deeper than that. I see this as, I have never noticed that these lions have some big old bo boobies. <laughs> I know that's right. Sometimes the chariot does have to do with travel, but for me, this is about really moving with supreme understanding of like, this is who I am. This is what I was good at. This is what I was meant for. This is where I'm going. This is who I am. And the Ace of Cups is, for me, believe it or not, I feel like this is the next chapter in your life. Like the next chapter, the next defining. Next chapter. It, it's like a whole door opens up. Okay. Next few cards here, we have time to collaborate. My goodness, with Three of Pentacles. Something is in the works or something is about like, and honestly, I feel like this is not just people. I feel like this is the universe kind of moving in cahoots to be like, you know what? She would be better off here. And then all like things just kind of put you so that you have no choice but to go in that direction. Think about like a divine reroute. Guys, what does the universe want you to know right now? Everything is bringing you to the place right now where you are going to blossom. You are going to bloom. Trust the process, trust the divine retort, detours, and open your mind so that you can see, you can be fat quicker to see how good things can actually get. That's what the universe wants you to know. Let's look at the rest of your cards. We have loneliness. Wow. When you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come incredible so clearly there's a lot of cards here about collaboration coming together and things just working out when they're supposed to work out but also it this doesn't all this doesn't necessarily have to be relationships although clearly clearly two of cups twice it's definitely talking about that especially collaboration coming up twice as well um i do want to say that nine of pentacles nine of pentacles this is the card of being okay within yourself like being okay however you are loving yourself enjoying your life and then this extra person or this extra thing comes in and it's like the jackpot like you just now it's like well i was doing fine before but now i have all this extra money like that's how this this energy is giving but also this doesn't necessarily need to be a relationship this could be something coming to life into your life Some of you guys, I'm sorry, let me just say this. Some of you guys might have felt your whole life like around people, but like alone. And somehow you find your tribe. Somehow you find partnership, friendship, a best friend, community. Next card you have Peacock Spirit, Let It Shine, and Badger Spirit, Be Fearless and Bold. 
Wow. This is, again, Peacock Spirit is definitely talking about your own uniqueness. I also just heard the word genuine. There's something about you that's very genuine. Or there's something about someone else that's genuine. Or what is about to come into your life is genuine. Something that's solid. Something that you can count on. And do you see how this the peacock's heart is shining? It's acting as a beacon of light for others because there's something about this peacock believing in itself. But do you also see the proud energy of the peacock? Like, I know who I am. Like, I will call out. You will hear me. <laughs> you will hear me. <laughs> Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let me read to you the pyrite card. 45. I hope you guys are having a good weekend, by the way. I've, I'm sure you guys know this already, but I've been really called to slow down lately. I think we're almost going to be cranking things up a little bit soon, but as soon as my energy comes back. Okay, Pyrite. Inherent value, knowing your worth, self-appreciation, and genuine abundance and prosperity within. This is, this is right on. Okay. Throughout the ages, humans have sought the gems of the earth, the crystals whose beauty delighted the eye and whose powers could aid them in their quest to achieve a sense of safety and abundance. They recognize the intrinsic value of these gifts from nature. And when pyrite spirit appears, you are meant to appreciate the abundance that this universe has provided, an abundance of opportunities, resources, support, and most importantly, love. A scarcity mentality will prevent you from seeing all that is available to you, and you are called now to offer thanks for the myriad gifts you have been given to help you achieve balance. Isn't that something too that came up here? Balance, and what is your card here? Oh, passion and fire. Oh, it was the temperance card that was talking about balance. As you take your healing journey, you will find it easier and easier healing journey. The chariot. Um, you'll find it easier and easier to recognize that you will always have what you need. Abundance awaits you as you ready yourself to claim it. The conscious universe has your back. What you need will not be denied you at this time. So open yourself to receiving it by practicing appreciation. I really, really love that message. Wow. So what does the universe want you to know? The universe wants you to know that you are about to hit the jackpot. <laughs> if you haven't already. Whether this be a relationship, a person, an energy, a vibe, you are about to hit the jackpot. And don't forget to share your abundance with others. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Definitely um, enjoy. Whatever it is that you have here, enjoy. So for those of you guys that are passing through, honestly, please, before you go, give this video a thumbs up. That's how you let YouTube know that I'm at least minimally worth listening to. Minimal. Um, for those of you guys that want to, I really want to encourage you to sub to subscribe because I love my YouTube channel and I love been I've been loving pouring into it in the way that it is that I have lately. Not only do I do pick a card readings, I do channeled messages all the time from my morning meditations pretty often, and I also do astrology readings and reports. So especially when it comes to full moons and new moons, so you can look out for that as well. If you are passing and this is the last time I'm seeing you. Honestly, it was a blessing and I do hope that the universe looks out for you and I do hope that everything works out in your favor for your highest and greatest good. And for those of you guys that are old friends and family, I can't wait to see you guys again in the near future. So I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you later. Bye.